Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a front porch makeover, refresh, whatever you want to call it. I'm excited about it. As you can see from before, it was disgusting with all the mold and mildew on the ceiling, but thankfully we get that tackled right away as well as give that front porch base a nice fresh coat of paint and add some finishing touches. So if you guys are interested in watching, then keep watching. <laughs> And make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video to see more content like it. All right, let's get into it. Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a porch refresh. It really needs it desperately, you guys are gonna see. I'm filming inside because I am awkward and I do not want my neighbors to be like, what the freaking heck is she doing? She's a freak, she's a weirdo. Probably already think that, but I'm filming inside my intro. One second. Sorry, that was my dog daughter. I'm letting you know that I'm going to be power washing the first part and I'm going to get a little clip of it, but I'm not going to do like crazy video shots because one, it is cold outside. Has anyone ever used their thumb for one? One, it is cold outside. Um, and so, yeah, I don't want to be out there long. And two, I don't want to be out there long. And so I'm not going to be setting up the shots like crazy like I would like to. Um, so just know that I power washed the whole thing. You're gonna, Like I said, I'll show a clip of it. And then I also didn't want to film it because I don't want the camera to get wet by accident. I can just see that happening. And so Brad's going to hold the camera for a little bit. You'll see me. You'll understand I did it. And then you guys get the gist of it. Like I, I'm cleaning my porch. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. The reason I have to do this quick is because I live in freaking Canada and it, spring is not coming. Like, where are you? So my only good day to have warm weather to paint is Tuesday this week. So I need to quickly power wash now so it can dry. So I have time to paint on Tuesday. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that little blurb, but let's go do this. So this is the entrance to the front of our house. And as you can see, it looks like a bird pooped on it and then something crazy happened up top. Um, so no, honestly, the wood notches just started to kind of, the paint was wearing off of there, so that's what that is. And then this got torn up a little bit by the power washer, but was already looking somewhat like this. It's just the most heavily trafficked area. And this side just never really felt finished. And the roof is the worst part. Guys, it's bad. You know, it's just one of those things where you walk past it every day and you're like, oh, it's ugly and then you just kind of forget about it until you have to tell someone how ugly it is and you're like, oh wow, that's really ugly. But filming this, it, it was just atrocious. It was so bad, you guys. So let's go ahead and change that. For clearing everything out, I went ahead and went crazy with the power washer and got some in my eye, really gross. Hope I don't go blind. Um, I'm totally fine, I'm totally fine. But yeah, so this is my first time using a power washer, so I think I did an okay job, but as you can see, I was kind of a little bit further away. So in this video, that's what I am, is I'm a little bit further away, but I actually ended up going back over some spots that you don't see here and got closer so I could get some more of that mold and mildew off and just the way that it is coming off is just so, satisfying you guys so i'm just gonna be quiet and just let you watch the beauty unfold as i clean the ceiling of my porch it is so nasty Definitely should have worn a bag on my head. I need a shower. All right, looking much cleaner. It's kind of like the middle shot. Lots to fix though. What's up? Okay, here we go. I'm going to take this light down. Um, if I can. Oh, okay. All right, all right. 
<gasps> oh my gosh, don't even start. <clears throat> no thanks. All right, that is not in there very well. But step one. So I, uh, can you see me? Hi, I dropped a little uh, piece and it has uh, disappeared. <laughs> Very dark. <laughs> I have never actually used spray paint before um, on something for real, for real. Um, we spray painted like a toy car once when I was a kid, but that's about it. So I always want to spray paint something. It's my time. Like from this distance, though? Yeah, go. Oh. oh. I've always wanted to spray paint something. Do light strokes. Oh, no, 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 no. So Brad had never spray painted before. <laughs> Wait, let's go back and watch the video where I said I've never done this before. I have never actually used spray paint before. And then five seconds later, he goes, have you never done this before? My brain is slow moving with the no sleep. Um, but Brad knows how to change light bulbs, so that's good. Your beads isn't really in the shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a bug in there. Ew! <laughs> Alright, let's test it. Bing! No! Wait, wasn't it the other one that was on before? Yeah. So that's a dead one? It must be. I swear they both. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. Or is it the... I'll try the other light bulb in there. Well, there's bugs in there. This is a brand new light bulb. Oh, she wants to work. Come on, baby cake. Alright, let's switch it back for a sec. Hey, is there bugs? Okay, so we saved the light fixture after learning that Brad had never done spray paper before. Ha 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 ha! So now I'm going to prime the ceiling because if you guys obviously saw it with the um, power washer, there's like some mildewy moldy stuff. So I got this Zinzer Bullseye One Two Three primer for mold, and then this is my handy dandy um, paint tray because I can't find my like black base that I use to put this thing in. So we're gonna see if that works because I have to do this today. It's our only day that's warm enough to paint. So let's go ahead and do this. I say that every time. Let's go ahead and do this. I this from the dollar store. We're gonna see how this goes before I try and use the big can thing. Words. So just the primer alone was already so satisfying seeing this transform from that dark, dingy, dirty, <laughs> can you tell I really didn't like it, um, ceiling into this just beautiful white gloriousness. And this is, I was like laughing as I was editing this. I don't know why it's so awkward. I swear I had more paint on the roller than what it looks like I have here. But also the boards were uneven. Um, I think it's like an old tongue and groove is actually is how I think that the, it was installed. Um, so they're just, yeah, they're different kind of levels. If that's how, to, how I'm not trying to describe this, I, I don't know. Anyways, so the roller situation was just awkward.
While I was waiting for that primer to dry, I decided to go ahead and do the tops of the railings as well. I didn't do the bottoms or the spindles, those were totally fine. But these, we have a tree right in our front yard and so that we get lots of squirrels and birds that like to perch on here and do their bits nights. I'm not painting over that, I promise that those were just wood notches. I did clean these off as well beforehand. Um, but they just needed a little bit of sprucing up and it transformed the porch, guys. It looks so, like how, it's just so satisfying, so satisfying. So then I went in with the paint, which is just, I think it's called Polar Bear. It's from Canadian Tire, um, but just white paint that I had left over from the spindles when I painted this porch two years ago. And I feel so dumb that we didn't do this when we did the entire porch or even just do it in general when we started to notice the ceiling was getting really bad because it wasn't always as bad as it looks. It got worse over the years. Um, but honestly, it took $50. It took one can of primer because as I said, we already had the paint in the basement to get this done. And so guys, if there's a project that you have just not tackled yet, just do it. Just, just spend a little bit of money, spruce it up. It feels so good. Okay, it has been two seconds for you guys, but it's actually been a week and a half for me. I had to wait that long for weather about 50 degrees and also weather where it was not raining. So if it was raining, it was warm, but if it was sunny, it was cold. Odd. Um, and we also had snow in between that time lapse. Wonderful guys, spring. Spring has sprung in Canada. Uh, anyways, I am going to be painting the porch today. So finishing up today, painting the um, porch floor. And then once it's all nice and dry, we will be decorating, getting everything back together. Very excited for this because the front porch is the entrance to your home. You know, it's like, welcome. This is a view of what you're gonna see. And <laughs> right now the view's not more us. So we're just gonna do a quick coat. Honestly guys, this is just because I'm selling the house and so it's not gonna be perfect. I mean, I should probably be sanding some areas and I should be doing some deeper cleaning, but I'm basically just gonna slap a coat of paint on so that it looks good. And I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> So here's the before of the porch. As I already said, there's some high traffic areas that have some more paint chipping off. Overall, the area that I'm sweeping right now is actually kept fairly clean and no chipping or anything like that because we have the rug down, so that really, really helped. And just word to the wise, do not use your indoor broom to sweep your outdoor porch because you're gonna be left over with a lot of postpartum hairs that are stuck in your porch that you are gonna have to pick out as you paint. So keep an eye out for that later. If you see me stopping when I'm painting, it's because I'm getting all of my hair out of the porch, it's lovely. I kept those sounds in just because I thought it was so pretty, such a nice day, just the birds chirping and the sound of the kids and the paintbrush going, it was just, it was lovely. But I wanted to give you guys a little tip. What I like to do, we have the space in our basement for it, thankfully, so if you don't, you could even just take a picture of it or put it in like a little notebook, something somewhere. But what I like to do is actually keep the can of paint for whatever area I've done and then label it. And then that way I'm able to just take that paint can right back to the store if I ever needed another can. So I actually had an empty can of when we did this porch and I took that right back to the store. They were able to get the same paint, match it for me. And yeah, I was on my merry little way.
Isn't paint just the best? We also added these little caps and caps to our porch. We were supposed to add them on when we redid the porch. I don't know how many years ago it was now, four years ago or something like that. And uh, they cost a dollar each and why I waited so long, I don't know. But my hands were super dirty because we also did the mailbox. And look at how fresh and how clean she looks. Guys, I am so thrilled. This truly just made over the front. You know, like I said, we did this a couple of years ago, but it just needed a bit of a refresh and I'm so happy that we did it, especially that dang ceiling. Guys, oh my gosh, it's just a breath of fresh air. So now just those finishing touches, we are changing out the rug. This is an indoor outdoor rug. I wouldn't use this if the space was more exposed, but because it's covered and we really, the furniture never really gets wet over here, I feel comfortable using it. Also, yeah, mm -hmm, that's awkward. Um, but yeah, this is just from Canadian Tire. It was only $50, which I thought was a great price. And I'm really happy with it with the pattern and there go the kids running down the street. And then we're just gonna add back in our furniture and add a couple little touches. And I hope you guys enjoy the finished product. had plans for fresh potted plants, but there was nothing available. And my son said, why did you put dead ivy on the porch? So enjoy that. But there she is in all her glory, the finished porch. I feel like it's so much more welcoming, especially the ceiling Did I mention that I love it. It's so pretty, it's so pretty in the light. We didn't have to change it out. We just spray painted it, saved some money there. Brad didn't get electrocuted, it was great. <laughs> But in all honesty, you guys, let me know in the comments down below what project you've been putting off and what you are now motivated to do this spring and summer. That's my favorite time of the year is to get outside and to freshen up our spaces. So let me know what you're doing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you are not already. We love having you here, guys. Welcome to our community. And until next time, I hope you guys have a lovely day. Bye, guys. Go.